In this tutorial video, I'm going to introduce you to iMovie. For those of you who have never used iMovie, I want to show you how simple it is to use this program. And that way, when you go to edit your own video, you're a little more familiar with this program. So what I'm going to do is basically just show you what all of these windows do and what some of these icons do as well. So let's start up here. This window up here is the event window. As you can see here, this is the event library. What this window does here is it basically allows you to select video that you've already organized in iMovie or video that's on your computer and add it to your project. So what's going to happen is when you import video into iMovie, you're going to see that video here in the event window. And you can scroll over any of that video and you can view it here in this window. This window is basically the viewer of iMovie. If you want to play back any video that you've edited, you can watch that video here. If you want to watch any of this video before you add it to your project and before you've edited that video, you can also play that video back here before you add it. This window down here is basically your project, and this is where all the editing happens. So whatever music you add, whatever text you add, transitions you add to your video, you're going to see all of that down here in this window. Now what I want to do is just briefly show you what these icons do. This icon here is an import icon. If you click on that icon, it basically imports video from a camera you have plugged into your computer. So if you've gone out and shot some video and you want to import that video to iMovie, you come and click on this camera icon and it's going to open up that camera and allow you to import that video. This icon here with the arrows basically flips your event window with your project window. And so if you watch, as I click that icon, you're going to see now that my project window or where I edit my video is now up here and the event window is now down here. With this slider here, you're able to adjust the size of the clips in your event library and also in your project. So if you want to see more of those clips, basically you just pull that slider to the left. If you want to see them a little bit bigger, but you see a little bit less of those clips, then you just drag it over here to the right. So this icon here is your edit tool. If you click on this icon here and come up here to your event library, whatever part of that video clip you click on, it's going to automatically add it to your project so that you can begin editing that video clip. If you click on this green star here, that's your favorite tool. And if you come up here and let's say you really like this clip and you want to remember that for the future, you can click on that clip and basically drag over whatever part of that clip you want to set as one of your favorites. And as you let go, you'll see this little green line up here, and that tells you that that clip is one of your favorite clips. Now let's say in the future you go to add your clips and you realize that that clip is no longer one of your favorites. This star here that's not filled, that's the unmarked tool. If you click on that tool there and come up and drag across that clip that you had set as your favorite, it now is going to take away that green line which showed you that it was a favorite clip and now it's no longer one of your favorites. If you click on this icon here, you have the option of deleting any clip that you don't want added to your project. So let's say I don't want this clip here. I can click and drag across whatever part of that clip I don't want and let go and it'll delete that part of that clip. This icon here allows you to add keywords to video. Let's say you want to keep your videos really organized and you want to set them up according to the subject of that video you shot. You can add keywords to each of those video clips and that way in the future you can quickly find that clip that you want to add to your project. This microphone icon here allows you to add a voiceover. If you click on that, you'll see a little option pop up that says voiceover and that'll allow you to record a voiceover that will automatically be added over the top of whatever clip you have in your project. This icon here is your crop tool. If you want to make an adjustment to one of your video clips, you can come down here and click on that clip and click on the crop tool. It gives you an option to crop that video clip so that it looks exactly how you want it to look. Up here it also allows you to add a Ken Burns effect to that video which allows you to add movement to maybe a still picture or a video that has no movement in it. And when you're done adjusting your clip, all you have to do is hit done. And finally, this inspector tool, if you click on a clip in your project, it allows you to make other small adjustments to that clip so you can actually further edit 
your project to what you want it to look like. These are your audio channels so that you can view how loud or how soft your audio is. This icon here allows you to add music to your project. So whatever music you have in GarageBand or iTunes or sound effects, you can click on those and simply add them to your project. This camera icon allows you to add pictures to your project. So however your picture is organized on your computer, you can click on them and drag them into your project as well. This icon will allow you to add text to your project. So whatever text you want to add, just click on this text icon. This is the transition icon, which will allow you to add transitions in between your clips, before your clips, at the end of your clips. And finally, this world icon, this allows you to add backgrounds to your project. As you start editing your video, if you want to play back that video to see where it's currently at, just come down here and if you select this one here, it's going to play back that video, how it's currently edited, in full screen mode. If you click on this play button here, it'll basically just play back that video, but it'll just keep it in the viewer window right here. You can also find all these same options for editing up here in the iMovie toolbar. And when you finish your video and want to export that video so that you can show other people, you'll see underneath the Share tab that you can send your video to IDBD, you can upload it to iTunes, YouTube. You can also export your movie to whatever format you want your movie to play back in. And that's a basic tutorial on how you use iMovie.